Welcome, my beautiful souls and my fellow Virgos. Um, today, we are going to do a reading for Virgo. This is going to be for December, though. You know what I'm going to say. Whenever I find you, that's the right time for you. Um, this is for Virgo, sun, moon, rising. I, I have a Virgo sun. My boyfriend, who I live with, has a Virgo sun and a Virgo moon. So a lot of Virgo in this house. Um, but you could also be a Virgo rising. Uh, you could certainly be in love with the Virgo. And if that's the case, just know your spirit guides you know that you're here, you know, wanting to know what's going on, their energy. Uh, so they'll definitely send you messages too. And I say that because I read through my spirit guides, as many of you already know that. Um, but those that are new may not. So um, I connect to my guides who then connect to your guides. That's why one reading can resonate with so many because we're doing this soul to soul. So with all that being said, oh, by the way, many of you are going to be intuitively guided and I thank you and your guides thank you for paying attention to your intuition. Um, again, I feel like a reading will find you in divine timing. But for right now, we're going to say December. Um, interesting, Virgo, I went to do your reading and I just went to hit start and our power went out. We are um, in, in kind of like a whiteout. It's really beautiful, to be honest. But yeah, so we lost power for a couple hours. Um, so I'm really anxious to go ahead and get into your reading. We are going to use a few different decks. We are going to use the Romance Angels if romance comes up. Um, which it normally does. And one of the reasons why is because when I do a reading, I'm doing life. So I'm doing your career, money, creativity, um, situations, but also love, you know, because that is part of life. Um, so we'll see. If love comes up, we'll bring out the romance angels. We are going to use the major arcanas or our bullet points again. Um, I love bringing these into the reading, and um, it's funny. It's something I started to do a couple years ago, and I don't know why I don't do it more often, because uh, I feel like they themselves tell a very special little message. We're only going to take three to four. It depends what comes out. You know, we're not going to refuse, let's say, up to five. Um, but yeah, so... And I feel like when I do a reading, I'm really doing different layers. So Mother Mary is what we'll begin with. She will give us her beautiful words of wisdom. And I feel like she is layer number one. Um, and then we will use the uh, Universal Tarot to do your main spread. Um, I, I'm trying to do levels now. I should have done that. So Mother Mary, level one. Major Arcanas will be level two. Um, the main spread is really level three and then level four will be the universal trail and then the romance angels if needed okay so let's go ahead and open up this reading i'm going to bring the lid down i'm like worried that i'm going to lose power again so let's get into this reading virgo my fellow Virgos, by the way, my birthday is um, September 13th, which I know many of you share, and I love that. Sam's birthday is, he's right on the cusp of Leo and Virgo. He, he is a Virgo, though, um, August 23rd. And my nephew, Sean, is on the other end. He's not a Virgo, he's a Libra, but he's right on the cusp of Virgo and Libra. And I believe my daughter has a Virgo rising. Uh, either a Virgo moon or a Virgo. No, she has an Aquarius moon. So a Virgo rising. So lots of Virgo. I know Virgo. And I do a lot of personal readings for Virgo. All right. Health. Health. My prayers for healing miracles have been heard and answered. My prayers for healing miracles. Healing miracles. 
have been heard and answered. Interesting. So we'll see what that is about. Um, but let's put Mother Mary away for right now. So definitely some of you have been praying for some healing. Um, you know, it doesn't have to relate to like your health. It can relate to like your mental well-being. Um, something that's just got you low. All right. Let's bring in the major arcanas. By the way, I don't really read this these as people. Um, though I will give you the sign. I'm really reading by the energy. And that's how I read. I read by energy. Sometimes people will say, You're, you don't know the meaning of a card. I do know the meaning of the cards. <laughs> um, but I go by what I'm feeling. You know, what my guides are putting within me. All right. Enough talking. I'll go down as soon as I stop talking. Everything came face up also. All right. We have the full. So a new beginning. Um, you know, the full is someone who is willing to put the past in the past. Doesn't even really think about it. You know what I mean? I feel like this is when you get to a point where, you know, like, okay, well, that happened. Well, there's nothing I can do about it. Um, the fool is someone who does extract the wisdom of his or her past experiences and, you know, understands that they are now their tool. Like, you know, you've gained certain tools through certain experiences. This can talk about also the willingness to take a leap of faith. So we'll see. But a new beginning. We have the emperor. Card of Aries. He's looking right over a deaf fool. Um, so the emperor can be a couple different things. First of all, it can be a father figure. So I feel like if anyone is, um, there could be a father definitely saying some prayers um, for a child or a child yet to be born. You know, it's coming into this world. I could definitely, I, I feel that for mm, very few, but I do feel that. Uh, the emperor can also be a business owner. And um, this, could talk, this could certainly talk about, this may be the time to take a leap of faith. You know, the emperor is the boss, the leader. Um, but he's the leader because of his experiences. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like he helps other people. But he helps it because I've been there, been there, done that, learned that lesson. Now let me help you learn. This is a great omen for anyone who is thinking about bringing something to the world. Like you may have a certain craft, um, a business you wanted to begin. This may say, this is the time to take that leap of faith. And I have to tell you, um, we've had a lot of planetary action that I feel now is in our favor. So where I feel like there's been restrictions and lessons and, you know, the letting go of, I feel like the majority of us have done that, um, or are doing that and we're ready for, you know, what feels to be new, like new energy. It feels good. It feels lighter. All right. Well, let's keep going. Mm, we have the tower. We have judgment. This is your spiritual team. Looking right over at that tower. And then we have temperance. Divine timing. Um, temperance, temperance's first message is patience. And that's just so whatever needs to come together in your world so that you can, let's just say, be successful or taking this leap of faith definitely feels like it's something that will pay off. Um, you know, it's interesting because I feel like the tower 
it, some of you it could have been a job that you lost. Um, it could certainly be someone who fell from grace. And it could talk about, you know, the elimination of that now. No, no longer carrying that energy with you. Um, and remember, temperance is about patience. But she's about divine timing. And I say that because I do feel like maybe you've had to have some patience before you could actually jump into the fool or the rule of the fool. The rule of the fool. But now the judgment is here, calling you to the present moment. Like, I need your attention in the present moment. This is where I send your signs. This is how I contact you. Um, it talks about a rebirth. And I kind of love that the rebirth is part of also divine timing. To me, that just means something that is part of your destiny. It may just be time. Maybe I wanted something before, but it just wasn't at the time. It wasn't the right time yet. But judgment's like, yeah, but, however, there is something new on its way. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring in the Universal Tarot. By the way, we have um, Aries and Sagittarius. Okay, that was a weird shuffle. We're going to do one more. Um, by the way, everything's always pre-shuffled before you get here. I, I like to give it a couple shuffles with you here also. So, that felt good. Let's go ahead and give him a cut. And the reason I really cut my cards is to introduce him into the reading. Like, saying to our guides, okay, we're ready to go to the next level. Okay, I couldn't pick those up. Virgo. Knight of Cups. Unexpected Cup of Fulfillment. And then the Seven of Cups. Interesting. So here comes this knight. And normally this knight is, is carrying a cup. I mean, you can see it. Right. And, and this night is bringing in an unexpected cup of fulfillment, but it is fulfillment. However, then you question that. Is it really fulfilling? Is this really going, going to expand my world, make my world better? Coming under the emperor. You know, as this energy starts to move towards you, because that's what feels like is what's happening. It feels like the tower already happened. I, I know the tower already happened. Um, and it's the recovering from that tower. But the fool, again, has learned, you know, to put the past in the past. So the tower doesn't feel like it's really affecting the fool any longer. And then judgment, let's say, that it is still affecting me somewhat. Judgment is like, okay, well, it's time for something new now, right? It's time to allow this rebirth to take place in your life. But ball is always put in your court. And, you know, to me, that's free will. Like, here comes this knight. Um, he's under the full. So it is about a new beginning. I don't feel like this knight's carrying any baggage. Um, to me, that means this, this, whoever this knight is, is free and clear. And, you know, I know for most Virgos, that's a must. All right, well, let's keep going. Hmm, interesting. We have the Knight of Pentacles under the tower. Knight of Pentacles, to me, is your guardian angel. 
And interesting, you have judgment right there also. You know, the Knight of Pentacles has a message with it. It is a slow moving night, but it moves slow with purpose. The Knight of Pentacles tells you, I come in at just the right time. Just the right time. Not before, not after. I also feel like it's your spiritual team just giving you the recognition that they're with you through the hard, but also what feels is about to be good. Like, I don't know. Like, I feel like um, the Knight of Cups can certainly talk about love, but it can also talk about fulfillment just of your life. Knight of Pentacles, again, I come at the right time, and this knight brings in a pentacle. This pentacle really is meant to enhance your life, and I don't feel like it's a one-time thing. Um, sometimes you'll see the knight where he has a bunch of pentacles following him, and I feel like what that means is the more we trust within our own spirituality, the more that we recognize these seeds, these signs, um the more we receive. Now, you're constantly being sent signs. I feel like it's more about now I'm really paying attention to them. You know, I feel like, I definitely feel like there has been change in your life. Um, and even if it's like through that tower energy, I feel like it's moving you in a perfect place. You know, it's interesting. I kept getting a message. Um, um, I'm working on, or how do I say this? I am doing automatic writing. And I was doing a little bit yesterday. And I kept getting an image of um, a woman, a single mother, who was crying a lot. And the message was from her guides saying... I actually wrote it down. Let me, because I have a feeling this is for someone here. Things are working out in your favor, even though it may not seem that way. Trust, feel, release, and smile. And I feel like smiling, you know, it, it kind of tricks our mind. Even when we don't feel like smiling. Um, smile and I and I feel like there's a certain amount of time you hold that smile for and it tricks your mind but the message was very clear that things are working out in your favor even though it may not feel that way um, it is so I definitely feel like that channeling was made was for this reading for someone or quite a few of you All right, well, let's follow this night. You know, it's like this Knight of Pentacles is saying, because I come at the right time, it wouldn't have served you for me to come in as you were in previous energy. So, again, whatever that power is for you, um, it feels like the night is saying that wouldn't have been the right time. It's almost like I had to experience the tower. And that was part of the message. Allow yourself to feel these emotions. Like if, you know, uh, if the tower is someone broke up with you or even losing a job, like allow yourself to feel these emotions. Um, even yesterday, I said in a reading where I feel like this is a good time to write down anything that you're just having a hard time letting go of. And the full moon, I believe, is on the 15th in the sign of Gemini. That would be a great time to then take those worries that you've written down, light them on fire under the full moon, and release them. All right, let's keep going. Two nights, two beautiful nights, by the way, with you in between, trying to make a decision about that. All 
I can tell you that, it, again, if it has anything to do with love through this Knight of Cups, the person that is coming into the reading, free and clear, no baggage of the past. Well, look at this. Hello, Ten of Cups. Following the Knight of Pentacles right under your spiritual team, who is calling you to the present moment. It's like they're guiding you. They're guiding you to the Ten of Cups. It's a house of love, house of harmony, joy, laughter. <clears throat> Usually a very good time in one's life. And I, I just love that the Knight of Pentacles is right next to that. So I feel like your highest guide of all is the one who is helping to make sure that you can find your Ten of Cups. Hmm. Oh, Three of Swords. Okay. I felt what it is right away. Um, so I feel like the Three of Swords is tied back to the Tower. And I feel like Temperance, who really is about divine timing. Sorry, I like to have my cards in order. Um, I feel like what it's talking about with the three swords. First of all, this person can see the swords coming. It's like whoever is giving you these swords, they're not even hiding them. And I don't know. I feel like enough of that. You know, enough of that. Um, I do not feel, even though the Three of Swords is mirroring this Knight of Cups, I don't feel like it means that this Knight of Cups is bringing in the Three of Swords. I feel like this already exists, and that may be why the Seven of Cups is here. Like, needing to make a decision. Seven of Cups can talk about chaotic, you know, during a chaotic time. Um, that's where you may find your change, also. But I feel like because the Three Swords is under temperance, that's part of what the patience was. You know, there's no, like, I don't feel like our guides are saying, you know, you only have three months to recover from what happened. No, it's whatever time you need. But then also ask yourself, like, you know, how, do I want to continue in this energy? Because I feel like in the Three of Swords, there's probably not much you can do about that anyway. And I mean that like... Um, you know, me staying in this energy... How do I say this? You know, the heartache is real. No denying that. The heartache is real. I know it's tied back to that tower. Um, but I feel like there must have also been some lessons in that Three of Swords. You know, maybe it's the fact that I realized that this person can actually see the swords coming. Yet, there they are, just laying there. And it's like temperance is just waiting for you to see it, to see the truth of the matter. We have the six of wands. Wow. Victory. Success. Under the full. Under the Knight of Cups. Nothing to fear here. We have the Three of Pentacles. Okay, I love that. And I'll tell you why. Um, I love it for a few different reasons. First of all, I feel like it probably ties back also to this Three of Swords, where that heartache is at. However, again, I, I just want you to realize that 
it's like, I don't know. Do I expect these daggers? And I'll be damned they show up. Has somebody not been appreciating you for who you truly are? You know, is someone, has someone said to you, to be with me, you need to change this about yourself and that? Like, I, like all of a sudden I'm getting this feeling like there's someone where it's like, don't ask me where I've been. Don't ask me where I've been. Don't ask me who I've been with. Almost like, yeah, I, like, are you in a relationship I'm not sure because I feel like the other side is like, yeah, in a relationship, but I want my freedom at the same time. Hmm. So I feel like, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel like whoever caused the three swords, I feel like the long story short, they didn't appreciate you for who you truly are anyway. You know, they didn't see you on a soul level. So I don't feel like it's a soul mate. I feel like it was probably a free will or even a karmic. You know, maybe there again, there was a lesson to learn from here. And that lesson may be that, like, like I knew these daggers were going to come. Yet, I just took them. I don't think that's the case anymore, though. Um, and I want to say, what great energy for creating through your true self. So what I mean by that is it doesn't matter what anyone else says to you. I feel like there's something within you, like a gift. Um or even something you may have gone to school for, but it still feels like a gift. You know, like like no one can do it like you do it. Even if a million other people do it, there's something special about you. Your individuality is being celebrated. Um, I don't feel like over here it was celebrated. But right now I feel like this is talking more about like in your financial house, in your creativity. Um, you know, some of you with the fool and the emperor, maybe it is a business and maybe this is divine timing. You know, when the three pentacles shows up to me, it's like being true to yourself. And by the way, I wouldn't be, uh, you know, I, I feel like I just want to say that with the six of wands under that page of cups, some of you may already have a platform and there could be someone who admires you from afar, let's say. And I'm saying afar, that doesn't have to mean that they live far away from me. Um, but it feels like, you know, it's time for you to have your platform. It's time for the sun to shine on you you know the spotlight to be on you you just really have to believe in yourself i feel like you have so much beautiful divine energy here that's helping to guide you and i feel like the one thing that judgment or your spiritual team is asking of you is to take on the fool's energy because i promise you that three swords as you move along this journey, that will fade away. Because look where the knights are taking you to. To the Ten of Cups. With judgment right above it. Your spiritual team right above it. But to get there, I need your attention in the present moment. That's how I'm going to guide you. And I love all this is really happening in divine timing. That tells me even the pain of the past taught you something. And you may have taught them. Sometimes a lesson is simply knowing now what I no longer want. Or what I'll no longer accept.
I do feel like some of your questioning um, whether you're ready to do something in the world. And, you know, that is a personal choice. But I feel like you've got a lot of divine energy behind that. So I, what I mean by that is I feel like you'll be guided. Just keep your mind open. All right. We have the two of pentacles. Two pentacles mirroring the tower. But it's under the knight of cups. Or the knight of pentacles. Knight of pentacles says I'm bringing a pentacle in. It, and, you know, it means that something's coming into your physical world. Um, and in the Knight of Pentacles energy, I feel like whatever seeds this Knight is giving me, it can truly take root. And remember, it's really meant to enhance your life. But then you have the Two of Pentacles under that. Um, they do call it the Juggler's card. I feel like it's more, especially with an Earth sign, it's more about using our own logical mind. You don't have to accept anything. But your spiritual team just wants to show you, like, the potential of what can be. But yes, it will take you saying yes or no to it. All right, let's keep going. You know, Virgo, I feel like the day will come where you will be in your Ten of Cups. And you may even say to yourself, how did I get here? How did I get here? Like, look at my life now. Look at my life now compared to where I was. You know, in that tower type energy, dealing with someone or people. Um, you know, I often feel in the tower, someone's fallen from grace. Or multiple people have fallen from grace. But with the two pentacles mirroring that, I want you to realize that it's saying that the tower still has some effect on you as it relates to your decision making. We have the Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Um, can be Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, do we have any of that on the table? I don't think so. Um, yeah, you know what I love about this queen? It looks like she's saying her final words. And then she's doing a mic drop. Like, that's that. Queen of Swords, I do feel like this is you. Um... And, you know, it could even talk about you sharing Mercury. Mercury may be part of this. And to me, that means communication. Um, this is someone who... I feel like, you know, how do I want to say this? Like, I feel like maybe your voice was shut down. You know what I mean? Like, people weren't listening to what you were saying. But I don't feel like you were with your soul tribe. I feel like you were with certain people that just, you know, I feel like you've been working on yourself. You've been raising your vibration. You've been thinking about energy. You've been doing the work. You know what I mean? Um, but that doesn't guarantee us that, you know, we'll never have heartache. But it does show us, like, you know, our history can help us overcome a lot, right? Because sometimes, let's say this is love. We've all been through these relationships where we've had our heart broken. And in the, in the moment, it feels like the end of our life. You know, like, this is it. I don't want to live anymore. But then as time goes by, you meet someone else. You fall in love again. It's probably better than the first time. Maybe still not quite what it needs to be. 
but this is what you're learning. You know, I feel like there's layers to love. And going through these different layers to to bring you to your ultimate joy, really. Because I'm looking at the Ten of Cups. So, it can be like reclaiming your voice. Some of you, you use your voice um, in some way as what you do for a living. I also get this feeling that if the person, if there's a single person that caused the three of swords and they reach out again, I feel like this queen, it's like she picks up the receiver and puts it right back down. Like sending a clear message, if that makes sense. Like I let the phone ring, I pick it up. And then, boom, I put it right back down. Hello, Ace of Swords. Truth. Integrity. This is also my yes card. Mirroring temperance, divine timing. Some of you really have been on, you know, you're learning really the fine art of communication. And I mean, it in all areas of your life, some of you like what you do for a living, you use your voice. Um, but I feel like it's with your wisdom. I also feel like as it relates to love, it's stipulating that, you know, someone with integrity, someone of truth is the only thing I will accept. Now, I do have a feeling that someone may reach back out again. And yes, the ball is in your court. But. I don't feel like they're they're the ones that are meant to be your forever person. Um, you know, you need to make that decision. But I also love the Ace of Swords mirroring um, victory and success. It's like your voice being important in the world, maybe to help others overcome the things that you have overcome. You know, let's not forget the emperor. <clears throat> if it's not a person for you, uh, and I feel more of the energy of the emperor than anything, and I feel like, you know, whether I'm going to take this leadership role or not, um, down here, I feel like you're ready. Like you're ready. It may be more just trusting within yourself. And again, try to forget about what, you know, like any negativity. Anyone has told you you can't be successful. Matter of fact, use that as your power. You know, you don't think I can be successful? Just sit back and watch. Don't tell a Virgo they can't be successful. Because they will prove you wrong every time. All right. We have the Seven of Wands on the bottom of the deck. This is about standing your ground. It is on the bottom of the deck, though. Look at this, Six of Swords. Mm. I feel like there may have been a little bit of a fight about maybe you left. Maybe someone else left. Um, but yet, in the same time, you know, I, what I'm having a hard time with is I, I can see, you know, I've been in the Three of Swords with the Tower. I know that energy. But I also know the other side of it. And that's what I'm trying to say, I think, that there is another side, right? That there is love after a broken heart. 
that there is success even after losing a job. Um, here's the thing. I feel like judgment blowing its trumpet right towards the tower tells me that you can overcome this. Um, but I do want you to understand that I do feel like the tower or the previous three of swords, it's still like it still has a little bit of effect on you and it's more in your decision making. And maybe that's why judgment and temperance are here. Such beautiful divine energy saying lean on us. Lean on us when you're not sure what to do. Lean on me when you're not. Mm -mm. I feel like the Queen of Swords has given her final say and then drops the mic. And that's that. All right. Let's go ahead and bring in the Gilded Tarot. And let's go deeper. Give him a cut. And excuse me, we're going to start at the beginning but we will be reading it as a whole. All right, so we're going to look at the full. He's got the Knight of Cups below. Him or her. With the Emperor looking right at the full. We have the world. So, a new chapter is opening up, and by the way, it's mirroring temperance, which talks about divine timing. This is good news. Um, I feel like the world, first of all, it does mean there is an ending. That's why this new chapter is opening up. But I feel like what's ending probably needs to end anyway. It doesn't feel like it's serving you. And I know it's, you know, it's easy to say, like, overcome the three of swords. I know it takes time. And I feel like you're you're being given the time. You know, when the timing is right for you, I feel like your spiritual team will just step in and help to guide you. But I do feel like you do have to, you know, at least give the signal that I'm willing to jump into the fool's energy. Maybe I don't feel completely healed but I'm willing to at least jump into the fool's energy. You know, the world to me is really um, when you are walking hand in hand with your spiritual team. It's like you understand that you are being guided. And you trust in this guidance now. And I love it's the fool walking into the world. Also, the Knight of Cups. So that's new. You know, I say new doesn't mean it can't be someone you already know, but it's new. Hmm. Interesting. We have the tower over the emperor. Also over the seven of cups. <clears throat> Interesting because the tower is also right beside the emperor. So. I just get this feeling that some of you lost a job or a job ended and it probably scared the hell out of you. Yet, I feel like you're being guided to a new platform. Um, you know, sometimes you end up in this new life and you're like, how did I even get here? I can't believe like, I can't believe I have this success. Like, why did I not trust in myself? I can't believe I have this love now. Why did I allow the past to affect this beautiful present? We have the Eight of Swords. Self-created prison. And then we have the Hermit. Um, so that's your Major Arcana. Virgo's Major Arcana. 
I kind of love this coming under judgment. So let's break this down. So we have the Eight of Swords over the tower. Eight of Swords, again, now self-created prison. It's really, we really are like blocking opportunities. Um, and I feel like we mean to block them in that energy. It's almost like I'm fearful to go forward. You know, eight is always about a new beginning. And this eight of swords is, is surrounded by the tower now. Well, I shouldn't say surrounded because underneath it is that knight of pentacles. And, you know, the eight of swords, because it's a self-created prison, the only person who can uncreate it is you. If you're the one who created it. You know, sometimes it's wearing a blindfold. Like just being fearful of change, of what's new, what's next. You know, maybe I really, really wanted something to work out. But, you know, as much as I wanted it to work out, it doesn't feel like it did. Um, and by the way, when I say I, I mean you. Um, and I'm saying that because I had someone leave a comment where they thought I was reading for myself because I kept saying I. I'm just taking on your energy. That's why I say I. I wanted, I wanted to feel... Hmm. Real, I guess is the word. So anyways, um, the Knight of Pentacles, right? I come at the right time. Well, being in the Eight of Swords, again, that would not be the right time. But I also love the Hermit right next to it. Because this is someone who, listen, it, it may have felt like you went through, let's call it the Dark Knight of the Soul. Um, a lot of times you'll see the Hermit like going into a cave. And I feel like that's where in the hermit's in that dark night of the soul seeking, you know, I'm seeking like real answers, spiritual guidance, but to use on this physical plane. Um, I feel like the hermit is an old soul. So this wisdom that the hermit can pick up. And again, a lot of this wisdom is is my past experiences. But I'm using it as my wisdom instead of like my kryptonite. What else I love about this hermit is, well, I love that it's coming over judgment, your spiritual team. So they're connecting to you. You know, if you're asking, um, if you're asking for guidance, I feel like you are receiving it. What else I like about this is if you look at the Hermit's Lantern, it's illuminating the snake. So it's like, if there's any snakes that are coming towards you, now that you carry the wisdom of the Hermit, that would be illuminated. You'd see it so clearly. And I feel like it's, it's really to, to put your mind at ease. I feel like that's one of the reasons why the hermit comes out. Um, you know, the hermit can go into this period of time of solitude. And again, there's nothing wrong with that. Maybe that's what I needed to really overcome and start to heal. I feel like if I break myself free from this, this self-created prison, there is a Knight of Pentacles just waiting on me. You know, like I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna help you. I'm here to help you. But I do need you to help yourself first. <laughs> okay, well. Let's take them the way they came out. We have the Seven of Cups again. And then we have the Five of Cups, but in reverse. That's good. That's good news. So, first of all, I feel like in the Seven of Cups, this really is where you are making a decision about a cup. Well, it makes sense that it would be in this line because your very first card in this line is the Knight of Cups. But it also has the world over it now. And again, the full 
with this Knight of Cups. I, I really feel there's nothing to fear here. You know, I feel like this person um, that's coming in is really free and clear. But also I feel wise, um, probably like-minded. Doesn't make it easy to make a decision, right? Especially if I still carry a little fear in my heart. But then the Five of Cups in reverse. And I think that's a great thing. Because the Five of Cups in the upright, you know, anytime you see five, it's about change. You know, consider change. In the Five of Cups, it really asks you to ask yourself, what are you focusing on? And in the upright, what I'm focusing on is what I have lost, right? Those three cups. Well, there's those th the three swords in the heart. But when this person says, you know what? I'm not going to keep focusing on the past. I'm not going to keep focusing on the love or emotional situations that didn't go my way. They change. They change their focus. And what lies behind this person is two cups. Two cups behind them. Now, I often feel this person doesn't even know it. And to me, that does relate to a soulmate when you see two cups. And temperance to me, you know, what is she doing? She's mixing the waters, you know, the healing waters between the two cups, between the soulmates. I feel like we're getting our first yes. Like, yes. I'm willing to step into the fool's role and take a leap of faith here. And I feel there would be somewhat, something very different about this person. You know, different from, um, let's just say, who you nor like the type of person you would normally fall in love with. I feel like there's something different. I feel like their vibration is much higher than um, probably what you were used to. But I also feel you yourself have lifted your vibration. You know, if you break three, break free from that self-created prison, that's freedom. That's freedom. That's freedom within and freedom without. You know, it's freedom to do whatever it is that you want to do on your path. And then the hermit moving, you know, moving right into the hermit after that. It's telling you that you can take these experiences that before you would build walls. Now it's about learning really to trust your intuition. You know, I'm looking at the trumpet of justice, of uh, judgment. And just the way I have the eight of swords um, on the table right now, it's like, Blowing the trumpet right to the Eight of Swords, like free yourself. Free yourself, and the rest will follow. Okay. Interesting reading, Virgo, because I'm I'm really feeling a mix of like your money and your creativity. Um, multiplying opportunities, um, bringing platforms, you know, that maybe you didn't know if you're ready. You know, this is what I feel like if I have, a, if, if there's something I really want to do, but it's my own fear that stops me. And let's use YouTube for an example. <clears throat> like maybe I want to, I want my own channel, right? I want to create my own tarot channel, let's say. Um, but I'm worried, you know, will I be good enough? Will people, you know, listen? Will they seek me out? And I feel like first, the first thing it's saying is trust within your own abilities. You don't need to know everything to begin. You know, the fool knows that. The fool knows I'm going to learn along this journey. And also the world over the full, it's, it really is like a guided time. It is a time to take some leaps 
um, because, you know, it feels like it's changing your life, but for the better. Well, look who showed up again. The Knight of Cups. Now the Knight of Cups is right over the Three of Pentacles. And I have to tell you, I love that. So, let's say it's love first. This is love. This is definitely telling you that, first of all, I feel like with the Five of Cups in reverse coming first, over victory and success, and when the person makes that change, right? I'm not focusing on the past. I'm going to start putting my energy. I'm going to start becoming the full and take some leaps of faith. Um, and remember that there's two cups behind that person. Well, here is now that Knight of Cups. And coming over the Three of Pentacles, it means that um, exactly what soulmate should be, like soul to soul. Like, I recognize your soul. And I love it. I almost feel like the wheel needs to be out here. <laughs> um, and, you know, I'm talking about love, and I do feel like that is part of it. Like, you know, whoever is coming in through the Knight of Cups energy, I just love how they're coming in. And I love what's being said about it. You know, the recognition of each other's soul. Soul to soul deep. But I also feel a love of what you do. You know what I mean? Like, can you have both? Absolutely. You know, like loving what you do. Doesn't mean it won't be hard work. But if you're loving it, it's worth it. The Emperor again. Over the two pentacles. Hmm. I just want to see what comes beside him. Look at this, the Queen of Swords over the Queen of Swords. Interesting. Oh, can't pick it up. And then the Three of Wands. Optimism. Interesting. Um, the Three of Wands is about, and by the way, it's coming right under the Three of Swords. So, completely different energy. Um, again, Three of Swords, sadness, loss. Three of Wands is optimism. It's living in the present moment. It's just what judgment is asking you to do. Um, Three of Wands is saying to the universe, I know my ships will come in. I know that. I trust that. But in the meantime, I'm going to enjoy my current moments. I'm going to enjoy what I'm doing, you know, and then allow. It's just, I feel like the person in three wands is very open to whatever comes into their world. Again, you get to say yay or nay, but the three of wands is mirroring the reversal of this five of cups. You know, it's interesting, even though the, the Emperor has a tower all around it, I, I'm not really feeling the Emperor as, like, I. first of all, I feel the Emperor, the first Emperor, I feel, is more about you and what it is you do in the world and knowing that you can be 
a great leader, even if you like lost a job or something happened that where your path has changed. But again, I feel like you're on the right path. Um, and then the, then the emperor coming over the two of pentacles, but also the knight of pentacles. That's why I don't really feel that this is talking about if this if this is who we're gonna love, let's say, let's talk about their energy then. So the Emperor is, is someone that we can look up to. This is someone who I feel like they have their life together, so to speak. You know, they probably have a good job. Um, they do care about their fellow man and woman. Healing is a big part of what they do, whether it's like, you know, that's what I do in my business or it's just naturally the energy they now carry. I want to look at these two queens, though. I mean, for some, it could just certainly be two queens who are... Um, couldn't even be of the same sign. But let's see. I want to look at I want to look at them as related to judgment. She's got all these beautiful white doves around her. So I feel like this queen has found peace. Where the queen below, I feel like is like my final words and then mic drop. Here, I feel like this queen, she feels peaceful. So it could be the same person, just different energy now. But let's see. We have the high priestess, your intuition. Mm, Ace of Wands, inspired action, passion ignited. Okay. Ace of Cups, and then the Queen of Cups. So, love. Um, I kind of feel like this Queen, the two Queens, I know for some of you, it, it could certainly just be two Queens. You may be in, like, same-sex relationship. Um, but beyond that, what I'm feeling is... The two queens are really the same person. It's just the energy they're in now. Because I do feel this peacefulness with this queen. Um, where before I felt like, you know, maybe she was giving her final. You know, like, I'm, I'm out. I'm done. Moving on. But she's feeling inspired at the same time. And she's also listening to her intuition. And what does all this bring in? It brings in the Ace of Cups. you got two Aces right there. With your intuition really connecting the two of them. Again, the Ace of Cups really talks about love. Love begins. Um, Ace of Wands, inspired action. Mirroring judgment. Well, judgment is saying, I'm going to help guide your steps. And then the Queen of Cups. You know, to me, the Queen of Cups is, first of all, she's looking towards the future. She's holding her cup out. So, I feel like this is also you, by the way. I know that confuses some people. Um, listen, trust your own intuition, first and foremost. You know what I mean? Because, again, let's say that you are a queen the Queen of Swords, and you are seeing a Queen of Swords, well, then it's probably relating to that. Um, but there can be multiple messages within the same cards. Uh, and because I feel that, I feel peacefulness. And now I feel with the Queen of Cups, it just means that uh, chances are I'm ready to say yes. Like, I'm going to accept this Ace and maybe, you know, taking it day by day. Day by day. 
Interesting. Okay. So we have that. I want to look at the emperor who's sitting, this emperor who's right next to the knight of cups. You know, could this be the same person? <laughs> you know, I would never say no, because I feel like just as we can evolve, so can other people. So, you know, but I feel like you need to trust yourself on that. Um, and I'm saying that because if this is someone, let's say in the Five of Cups, let's say it's someone returning to your life, and they're the one that caused the Three of Swords, you really want to make sure that their energy has changed. Um, and another reason why that Eight of Swords won't serve you, because you can't really feel the truth in that energy. And judgment really wants you to feel the truth. Um, and, and I'm just saying that because it can't, you like, I never say that, you know, we're the only people who can evolve. Anybody can evolve who chooses to. You know, sometimes people have to lose us to understand how much they really loved us. Now, I feel that for a very few amount of people all right so we have the ace of pentacles interesting because here's the knight of pentacles who tells you i'm bringing a pentacle into your life at the right time and this pentacle it means it's coming into your physical world it's tangible it's touchable it's potentially kissable so here is that ace. So now I feel like the emperor is meant to be here. Now, I'm not reading him just as Aries. Matter of fact, I'm not even thinking about Aries. I'm really just reading him as a person. Remember I said in the beginning where I felt like the fool with the Knight of Cups is talking about someone coming in who really does feel free and clear. Um, I feel like, well, we can trust that now. And then the emperor, again, someone that we can look up to. This is someone who's compassionate, empathetic, um, and is coming into your physical world. It's just, it just is. We have, look at this, the king of cups, where we just saw the queen of cups. We have the five of wands, interesting, two swords. And justice. Wow. Okay. There's still a little denying going on here. You know, I guess the good news is we've gone from the Eight of Swords down to the Two of Swords. So I do feel like you broke yourself free. And therefore, this energy starts finding you and you finding it. But it doesn't mean that, especially love, as it comes towards us, that right off the bat, you know, we're just ready and open. Sometimes fear can raise its ugly head. And that's kind of what I'm feeling in the Two of Swords. But it is due to the past. You know, like if I still carry, or let me put it a different way. So the Knight of Pentacles, again, your guardian angel saying, I bring this pentacle into your life at the right time. And here it is. Judgment calling you to the present moment. This is why. The King of Cups who matches the Queen of Cups energy. And, you know, yes, it can be a Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. But, honestly, I feel like it's talking about two people who are in similar type energy. So, you know, I don't feel like I'm dealing with someone who still doesn't know, like, you know, do I still want to party more than I want to be in a relationship? Or, no, I feel like this is someone who has their shit together. 
um, ha- it feels like they have their life together. They do feel like they are free and clear. To me, that means single. Um, or at least on their way, if not completely single, but I do feel single. Um, so, you know, again, the decision making, our decision making, the five of wands is drama, right? But it's mirrored by justice. Justice is about cutting ties, right? Using that sort of justice so that you can find balance in your life again. And by the way, when justice shows up in a reading, yes, it can ask you to cut ties, but it will only serve you. Justice is about making you whole again. And I can tell you with the tower and the three swords and a few of the other cards that chances are you weren't feeling 100% whole. Some of it was planetary and some of it was was people. So using that sort of justice so that you yourself can have balance within your life. I feel like also just knowing that you do deserve, you know, the highest form of everything. But then I want to remind you that a lot depends on our own vibration. Right? If I'm constantly stuck in the past and refusing to move on, then my spiritual team is like, well, there's not much we can do. Temperance, divine timing. Well, sometimes divine timing is waiting on us. But the bottom line is, I feel like the emperor is good. It's good news. Um, Not only good news, but it literally is showing it coming into your physical world. So, also, let's just say that, especially with the Queen of Swords right next to the emperor, I feel like, um, and I do feel like this is something Virgo loves, Um, I feel long, deep discussions. I feel our wisdom matches. Um, I feel our experiences are very similar. I feel like we both care about our fellow man and woman, like we both are empathetic and compassionate. Um, And it is our lessons, our life lessons that, you know, have made us who we are today, has made this emperor who this emperor is today. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring in, oh, look at the bottom of this deck, Ten of Pentacles. So, Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. I definitely felt that the Ten of Pentacles couldn't be yours. You know what I mean? Um, because I feel like that's what this Knight of Pentacles is here for. You have the Knight of Cups where I feel like that's about love. Knight of Pentacles. Um, it, it's about life. You know what I mean? Like you use the Pentacles or the seeds, you know, or the blessings that this Knight brings in. In any way you see, you know, you um, you choose. But I do know one of them is the emperor. All right, let's bring in the romance angels. Give him a couple shuffles. Uh, all right i'm just going to kind of go right down here right we're all well i mean the love begins up here let go of control issues that's kind of what the eight of swords is Allow the situation to unfold naturally. So 
I don't have to control him. I just need to enjoy it. I would even say, I mean, you know, I get it when we enter into a new relationship. You know, part of us does want to know, is this something that's going to last? Well, I feel like this is showing you it definitely has the potential. Or let me put it a different way. I feel like as long as um, two people... Mm, Keep, well, two people keep their eye on the prize. I feel everything is just going to work out in divine timing. So reaching that Ten of Cups, reaching this Ten of Pentacles, um, I feel like it, the opportunity is here. We have a wedding. We have a wedding. Huh. This situation involves marriage. Wow. If there was anyone that I would hope that it does truly involve marriage, this would be it. Because I feel the potential love. And I, I just feel the potential of, of love. You know, a wedding to me is about commitment. It's about real commitment. Past life relationship. You have known each other before. Interesting. You have known each other before. And it's kind of interesting because we have two emperors, two queen of swords. And one can certainly talk about one lifetime and now this lifetime. I can see where even in a past lifetime, something may have happened where you didn't reach the ultimate goal of marriage, let's say. And some of you, I feel like you're back. You're back to reach that goal in this lifetime. And I also want to say that just forget about age because, you know, I get a lot of people who be like, well, I'm 60. I'm not going to find love. Well, that's not true. I didn't find true love um, until late into my 50s. So you just never know. You never know. You never know. However, the Knight of Cups coming right over the Three of Pentacles, that makes complete sense to me. Because I feel like that is soul recognition. That is soul appreciation. So you've been together before. In a past life. I'm also feeling that for some of you. You could have been in these relationships throughout your life. And... It's just like nothing ever seems to measure up. You know what I mean? Like like what I expect out of love and what I receive are always different. And that may be because you're being guided to this person. You know what I mean? And sometimes we do have to learn um, what we don't want to better understand what it is we do want. I feel like the majority of your reading okay. is showing the beauty of what can be, but it's also showing what we need to do to get there. You know what I mean? Like breaking ourselves free from the Eight of Swords, not allowing the Three of Swords and the Tower and those who have hurt us to 
take up any space in our brains and our hearts. Let our hearts be open. And as we have open hearts, I feel like that's when everything just starts moving in. You know, I'm not going to say you even feel 100%. You know, because I do feel like there's a lot of back and forth of like, oh, I'm not 100% sure. That may be why it's saying just allow the situation to unfold naturally. You know, people will always reveal to you who they are. We just need to give them enough time. Three of Wands, beautiful energy when you're falling in love because this is really enjoying each and every moment. All right, let's do one more. Retreat. The decome in reverse. It's time to dis disconnect from the world. I have to tell you, I love this image though. Because I feel like this is you walking or having a deep discussion with one of your spiritual guides. Um, I often feel like this is a father figure. You know, this person, she's in a gal. And we do have wedding right here. I feel like retreat may be what you've been doing. You know, when I think of the hermit, I do think solitude. But the solitude is so I can really find the wisdom so that I can make, you know, so that I can move forward without fear, so to speak. But because this is in reverse, I feel like the time of solitude or retreating, it's now time for movement. Look at this, very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Clearly decide what it is you want so that it comes to you now. Judgment, now. Temperance, divine timing, feels like now. Three of Wands, now. The fool, now. The fool walking into the world, the next chapter. Filled with divine energy. You know, it, it's almost like a how to walk through hell to get to my heaven. But heaven, here on earth, feels like what you're finding. Let it unfold naturally, especially when there's any fear. I feel, though I'm saying take it slow, I feel like wedding coming up next. I feel like that's talking about commitment, true commitment, and then past life um, relationship. I do feel that in a past life, there was something that the two of you didn't get to accomplish that you want to accomplish in this lifetime. And I feel like all of this is coming sooner versus later. Well, let's put it this way. When you decide to jump into the fool's energy, which means you're going to let the past be the past, extract the wisdom but you know the full wife feels like happy go lucky willing to take a leap of faith doesn't mean i even know how it's going to turn out and i'm still going to take a leap of faith remember before we had your intuition so your intuition is going to guide you but it's your guides who are guiding you through your intuition Mm. What a reading. I'm just trying to think, is there anything else I want to look at? Um, I feel like it's pretty clear, the love part. 
You know, and that's probably why I saw the Knight of Cups twice. And I know that's why the Knight of Cups came over the Three of Pentacles. Um, because it is soul recognition. You know, it's someone who wouldn't come in and be like, you know, to be with me, you need to you need to do this and do that and do this. No. And this isn't someone who would run. This is not someone who would be afraid of commitment. And I feel like that's why we saw the Queen and the King of Cups, because they truly enjoy being in a relationship. Doesn't mean they have to be. But having that special partner by their side means a lot. And even though I know you're not Cup, um, I do feel like it's relating to you. I feel like what it's saying is, you know, first of all, I know your soulmates. That's what the Five of Cups is telling us. But I don't need the Five of Cups to tell. You know, I, I feel it. And it is coming over. The soulmates is coming over victory and success. And I feel like the secret to this is day by day. Day by day. Day by day. And just know and trust that you're going to be guided. And the more that you can be, again, like in the fool's energy, the clearer you'll hear your guidance. You know, Virgo, it's like, I feel like not only are you going to reach the Ten of Cups as it relates to love, But I also feel you're going to reach the Ten of Pentacles, which is the House of Abundance. I feel like that's you, though. That's you and what you're creating. Now, I feel like when this all comes together, if we allow, then I feel like the person coming in, um, I just feel like they have their shit together. I don't feel like there's anything I need to worry about. You know, and if there is worry, then just know that that's from the past. You'll probably recognize each other very quickly, you know, and I'm not saying you'll be like, oh, I think we had a past life together. There's just going to be something different. Um, and I feel like that's been part of what you've been learning. Like maybe you've been learning the different levels to love. So that when you re this comes in, you recognize the difference very quickly. You know, this is just a very abundant reading where a lot of this is being guided. It's to help you. It's to help you reach the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. It's to help you let go of what was and to help you put yourself in the present moment and to believe that your ships will reach you, right? A lot has to do with you, though. You know, like, I do feel like I need to break myself free from this self-created prison, number one. That's important. And one of the main reasons is because I do see how it's affecting, like, your decision-making. And this is something I feel like where you are going to have to take a leap of faith. But I hope you do. Um, and you know what else is interesting? How I said the hermit was a wise old soul. And when I say that, I feel like of many lifetimes. Wow. This feels like, an, uh, like maybe a last lifetime. Coming back together again. So. Okay. I think I'm going to leave it there guys. Um, Mother Mary. My prayers for healing miracles. Have been heard and answered. By the way. Some of you may be like. Well I don't feel like it's been answered. Many times our prayers are answered differently. Than what we prayed. But it's usually because it's something better. I think the moral of your story is the willingness to take a leap of faith, 
knowing that divine is right there step by step with you and the more that you you're open to this energy i feel the more you're going to be surprised at what your life is going to look like you know i feel like i often feel this with the tower that a day comes when we look back and we're like oh thank god for that tower because if that tower didn't happen i wouldn't be where i'm at now Okay, I think I'm going to let that be, guys. King of Swords under the Ten of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Again, like-minded energy. And don't forget that part of, of this reading because I feel like this is not just a love reading. This is also asking you to trust yourself and what it is you do in the world. You know, and what... If there's anything new you want to bring to the world, it feels like the right time. And I feel like I've been saying that for a little while for you, Virgo, not for everyone. Um, but this may be like you may be feeling it more than ever. Trust those feelings. Especially if you're feeling like uncomfortable. Sometimes that uncomfortableness is what's moving us ahead. So. Past life relationship. I feel like love. It just feels right. Your money. It just feels on fire. Your creativity. I am hoping that you believe and trust within yourself. Because I feel like you can have your own business. Or let's say you're not interested in your own business. But you're working at a company. To me this would mean like opportunities for advancement in some way but it's about believing in yourself first and foremost you know what it is that you bring to the table and again i don't care how many people do it no one will do it like you and as there is this sense of also trusting that you know i don't need to know everything to begin something I'll learn it as I go. So I feel like it's covering all areas of your life. Um, and although there, you know, the hardship was in the beginning, I feel like that's what we're moving away from. And this just feels beautiful. I accept it as a Virgo. Um, I hope you do too. You know, some of you may say, well, Sandy, you're already in a relationship. You already have a business. But that doesn't mean there aren't new avenues I want to add. There are. You know, and that may be you say it to me like this is the right time. So just trust within yourself. And um, I'm going to let that be. Um, I thank you guys. I love you. I love the way you support my channel. Um, through your comments, your donations, your shares. I appreciate each and every one of you. So thank you. Um, I'll see you next time at our table. Bye-bye.